Hi there. Chapter 12 is the second to last chapter of HeadFirst JavaScript programming. So if you've read this far, congratulations, you're almost there. In this chapter, we delve back into the world of objects. So far up to now, we've been using object literals to make our objects. But as you've probably noticed, there are a few issues that can crop up. Like what if one car object has different properties from another car object? Or you might also be sick of retyping the methods in your objects over and over in each object literal that you create. The way to deal with this is object constructors. And that's what this chapter is all about. Now, object constructors are a little weird at first because they are a little bit like you took a function and an object and stuck them in a blender together to make an object constructor. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. So pay close attention to the syntax we use in object constructors so you get it right. You're also going to want to pay close attention to how object constructors work because that's really the key to understanding why the syntax is the way it is. We use an operator you haven't seen before now, the new operator with object constructors, and so we step you through how that works and what can go wrong if you forget it. Once you've learned the basics of constructors, we start using them to make cars. And making objects with constructors is a whole lot easier because you go from having to repeat a bunch of object literals to being able to create objects with just one line of code. So it's a lot easier. And of course, you'll get lots of practice with constructors with the exercises. So make sure, as always, to do all the exercises to get the full learning experience. And you know, if you skip them, we're going to find out and we're going to come to your house Okay, not really, but seriously, do the exercises. Another thing you'll learn in this chapter is how flexible JavaScript is. If you're used to another language like Java, for instance, you might be surprised because just because you use a constructor to make an object doesn't mean that object is set in stone. So while constructors can help make your objects more consistent, it doesn't mean that you can't still change everything completely. So we'll step you through some of the things to think about on that topic and also introduce you to a new operator instance of that you can use to figure out how an object was made. Finally, we take a look at a couple of constructors that come built into JavaScript, the array constructor and the date constructor. The array constructor is used to make arrays and the date constructor to make dates. Just like up to now we've used object literals to make objects, we've been using array literals to make arrays. But you can make arrays with a constructor too. And of course, dates are useful for any kind of code related to date and time. We end with a nice exercise for you to do that gives you just a taste of what's to come in chapter 13, and of course, the bullet points and the crossword. So enjoy chapter 12, and when you're done, you'll know you've only got one more to go.